All right, you guys, so I'm going to touch on static pressure. And static pressure, all it means is airflow. So static pressure can be compared to like blood pressure in someone's body, right? The higher the number, the worse off a shape you're in. Um, so when you see a high number, that means you're going to get bad airflow when it comes to static pressure. Um, so we check static pressure at every single call we do. The experts tell us 75% of all air uh, furnace and air conditioning problems are airflow related. So that's the reason we check it. Every clean and check that gets done and every problem call that gets done, we check static pressure, meaning airflow. Um, so this is an example of how we check it. We check it with a manometer, and these are static pressure tips. So we put these in the ductwork. Like I said, the higher the number, the worse off we are, right? Um, so when you want to get down to the root cause of any given problem, um, instead of glazing over when a part is bad in a furnace and just changing it and leaving the house, we like to kind of dig in a little bit more and see if there's a root cause of why that problem may be failed. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. But we're there to check it and eliminate that from our mindset um, so we can feel good about the call when we leave it and we're, when we're going to bed that night, frankly. Um, I am going to put this static pressure tip in, the return, and then I'm going to put this one in right here. The reason I'm doing it before and after, guys, is the filter right here is in between this probe and this probe. So I'm seeing what kind of impact a filter has on the system, meaning the higher the number, the worse uh, situation it's going to be. So this bottom number right here on this manometer is the impact the filter is having, meaning the resistance. So there's kind of a joke in our industry. We call pleated filters sometimes super pleats. And all that means is the filter is good at catching dirt, particulate, and dust. It's great at that. But that also has a negative effect on the performance, meaning the operating condition of the system, whether it be an air conditioner or a furnace. Sometimes it can put uh, a system over the top where it creates a no heat situation or a no cool situation by just having a dirty filter in, this, in the unit. So this number right now, you guys, is 0.4. That's the impact this filter is having, okay? So I'm going to take this out, it's a perfectly clean filter, it's brand new, I put it in maybe a few hours ago before you got here. And this is the filter that was in the system before you guys got here. Shame on us, right? Heating and air conditioning company with this filter in here. Watch this. So keep in mind, I just told you I had a .4. The number now is 1, right? So all these numbers are low, but I just more than doubled the static pressure. So behind this door, the blower motor is right there trying to suck air, and it's having a more difficult time sucking the air back to the unit to be conditioned because it's pulling across this thick mat of dirt and fabric that we call a pleated filter. So when we're at a clean and check, we want a balance point between keeping the air clean and performance of the equipment. The whole point is to measure before we touch it. I think one of our instructors at some point said, if you don't measure, you're just guessing. We try to teach all the techs before they touch the equipment, measure what's going on before you touch it, and then make your repair, give your suggestions, and then measure afterwards to make sure what we did there made a difference. And if this isn't a massive difference, I don't know what is, you know? So that's a big deal. So we use you recommend a standardized filter and just change it maybe once a month instead of going the pleated route. So if you have perfect ductwork, meaning perfect static pressure, which most people do not, you can go with a pleat. But we find that most people don't. Um, so this number is at one inch right there on the, on the filter. And as you can see, if you were to hold this up to the light, you can't even see light through it. That's how plugged up it is. As a matter of fact, when I put my flashlight on this, you can barely even see the flashlight through it, you know? Um, so anyhow, this system just satisfied, meaning the demand for cooling is over. But you saw the impact that that had, and I wanted to give you an example.